Okay, ready, go. Go. Ready, go. Okay, let's take a look at um, <clears throat> what you do in your swing. So first of all, your back swing is really slow. Mm -hmm. And then the club goes only about this much. It's first, goes to further back. Yeah. Yeah. So the club goes about this much. Mm -hmm. Really slow back swing to this position. Yes. And also in the down the line view, it's really f flat here. Mm -hmm. So it's going backward quite a bit. Okay. This way, and then uh, the motion is uh, small, and the author is really slow. Okay. I see. And then try to hit hard Morms. on the way down. Yeah. And uh, because it's, it's uh, low here, Come down low and then you try to lift the arms up here. And this is where I get stuck. Yeah, so the way you were swinging is go up here and start like this and then try to mm. bring the arms up here. Instead of slight go up, up here and then let it go, throw the arms, lifting the arms up. Okay. Mm. And then as you lift the arms up and your body is standing up here. But that's why it's hard to have good uh, impact control. Got it. Yeah. So, so more than anything, we have to increase the boxing speed. Mm -hmm. And instead of trying to hit hard by standing up here, you have to use the stepping like action. Mm -hmm. And then simply throw the hands in the club. So let's start with the, the caribou swing. You need to have more rhythmic motion. Okay. You need to have more rhythmic motion. So uh, you need to learn to develop uh, uh, the uh, stepping like action. Okay. So assume your regular stance. And then just uh, put it down. Instead of uh, lifting up, okay. just uh, let it go down. Okay. And keep the arm just straight and then swing it uh, back and forth continuously. Yeah, and doing this, emphasize the back swing more. Swing, yep. And then your foot, so when you're swinging this way, as you swing this way, your foot is leaving the ground. But instead, still the, the foot has to help this motion here. So it has to stay on the ground. The toe has to uh, gently push the ground. Mm. Emphasize uh, the back swing more. Back swing, back swing. That's too high, that's too high. But try to make uh, the back swing a bit higher and then lower the, in the down swing, no, lower in the down swing, but make it a bit higher there. So you need to increase the back swing speed and also here. You are not swinging with your arms, right. but rather you have to use the body, yeah. use the gravity. Uh, because it's a heavy, so the gravity will pull it down. So no need to fight there. And it's simply just a push outward, a push outward here, push it laterally, instead of pulling, pulling it down. Now, Basically, the kettlebell is moving this way here, outward. So make it uh, square. That means that you have to bring this, this way here more laterally, and then also more this way here, instead of going backward in the back swing. Or intention, let's try to uh, bring it more this way here. So in order to swing it more inward, you have to go more laterally and then bring it somewhat inward.
just use the oscillation, the actual oscillation, instead of using the, the arms a lot. Just let it oscillate. Ah, uh, it's going, it's turning that way. It's turning that way. Try to go more laterally and then bring it this way here. So you are adjusting the direction of the plane. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see. So throughout today's session, I want to see that. So you have to adjust the, the direction of the swing plane. So in order to do the, uh, what's really important is bringing the kettlebell more laterally here instead of going inward, okay? Yeah. Or this way. Yeah. So now what's happening is, because your hands are staying close to the body, you will be able to turn like this. Go here and then turn like this. So no need to put a lot of effort, but rather just to guide the kettlebell this way and then let it go this way and then let it go. Instead of fighting, work with the kettlebell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So uh, let me record. Let me record this. Okay, ready, go. Swing, 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 one, two, Three, wind up, swing. Yeah, you adjusted the, the plane here. Mm -hmm. And then en start engaging with the lower body more. Okay. okay. Now, let's go to uh, the rope swing. Okay. So we will use uh, different uh, tools. So you have to adjust your body motion. You have to work with the, uh, these tools. These tools have different physical characteristics yep. or inertial characteristics. So um, kettlebell is heavy, mm -hmm. but it's short. Yeah. This one is a lot longer, but it's really flexible. Yeah. So they have different characteristics, and right. then you have to work with the device. Now, swing the rope back and forth continuously. Give initially good stroke so that... Aha, uh, uh -huh, here, remember what you did with the kettlebell. Yeah. Yeah. You adjusted the... Back swing plane. Versus going out this way. Yeah. yeah. So you have to have similar uh, pattern. And here, what's important is give enough speed to the rope. Okay. When the rope has enough speed, it will go around your body. So you don't have to Naturally. worry about manipulating this. Yeah. As long as you give a good speed here. It will go around around the body. Okay. So once you step back slightly, so yes, yes, stay there. Once you give enough speed, then uh, the motion of the rope you don't have to worry about. Okay. So what you need to worry about is uh, changing the plane. And in the backswing, in the backswing, you are leaning that way and then stopping about here. So instead, the key turning and the go to a reverse pivot posture. Go to a reverse pivot. Yeah. So instead of leaning this way, try to go to this okay. position here. Okay. And then keep turning your shoulders okay. all the way here. And also, in, on, the, on the way down, no need to pull it a lot here. Just to let it go. So let the rope go away from your body. Okay. For that, you have to have good speed. Okay? No need to pull it all the way here. 
just to feel the motion of the end of the rope, throw it, throw the rope, uh, and then the backswing, in the backswing, the rope slows down at the end quite a bit. Okay. So in your, in your backswing, almost it goes here. Yeah, let it go all the way. Okay. So that the rope can come in here. So you have to keep turning at the end. Yeah. Let the rope go around your body and the wrap around your body. You have to really feel the motion of the rope. The, in the back swing, at, at the end of the back swing, the elbow is too low. This is too low. That's why it goes uh, far back here. Okay. Remember, you have to bring the rope more this way here, oh, yeah, not yeah. that way. Yeah. And then also, also, try to bring the rope around here instead of going this way here. Let it go around. You're currently, you are sliding the pelvis too much and then you're going this way here. Mm -hmm. But from here, try to turn around. Keep the hands closer, as you did with the kettlebell swing. On the way down, keep the hands a bit closer and then let, let it go that way. Mm -mm. As long as, uh, you are here, this dictates uh, what happens after that. Try to bring this a bit higher. Now here, you have to have a good image of uh, your yeah. swing, okay? more than anything. But unless you have a clear image here, it's hard to uh, generate yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. good motion. So the, the problem currently is you are going too flat here by keeping this really low. Okay? And then slide and then try to go that way. Okay. In order to uh, change this, then obviously you have to go a bit uh, steeper here. Then more than anything, you have to move the shoulder a bit higher instead of going flat here, back. Okay? So again, when you use a kettlebell, going this way here. Kettlebell with the, the shoulder was here. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, stay there, stay there. Oh. Now, imagine you are holding the rope. You'll go to, you'll, you'll, you'll go to this position here. Mm -hmm. That's, this is the only difference. Instead oh. of dropping and going here. Oh. Okay, your hands should be here. The shoulder has to go a bit higher. Left the shoulder lower, this way here. And then you, are, you have a, too much shoulder turn right now mm -hmm. with uh, this going flat here. So about this much is really good. And then here, this person here. Okay. okay. Then you can guide the rope this way instead of going this way. So, oh no, this is too, too flat. Again, unless you change the way you do yeah. the backswing, then you will have the same problem again and again. So now let's try this. Uh, I will stay on the left side of the target. So you will swing toward me. You will throw the rope toward me. Hmm, still, the rope is not coming all the way here. You are going here. But let it go all the way so that the rope comes here. You have to use the, the speed of the rope. Ah, the back swing is going flat. You have to pay attention to the motion of the rope. Yeah. You're dealing with the rope, so you have to create uh, the desired rope motion. But you are not paying attention to this aspect. It's always going flat. So here, again, 
uh, there are two goals in the rope swing. One, you, uh, you come up with the consistent swing plane, yeah. back and forth. Okay? Then obviously the swing plane should be properly directed yes. with a pro uh, good uh, slope, right? And then the second one is have enough time so that the rope can go around your body. So for that, more than anything, you have to have a faster speed of the rope. If the rope moves fast enough, then automatically the motion of the rope becomes really simple. Yeah. It, it has a planar uh, tendency. Okay? It just goes around your body like an yeah. elliptical. Yeah. So just to give you enough speed to the rope, no need to move the body, okay. adjust the body motion, and then come up with a really nice rope motion. Feel, feel the motion of the rope. It's getting better, it's getting better. But still, the motion is too... Like jagged. Yeah, too rigorous, and then uh, yeah. somehow you're putting too much effort in this. Because the whole goal is to move the rope nicely, Naturally. nicely around your body. You have to cut, cut off uh, all the unnecessary movement. Yeah. But uh, your movement has too much unnecessary co uh, components here. Swing. Swing, swing, okay? So you have to adjust your body motion. It's not about your body motion, but you need to generate uh, the desired rope motion. Work, work with the rope. Feel the motion of the rope. No, 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 no need to swing that hard. The, the, the rope does not really go around your body. It's not wrapping around your body. Yeah. It just folds here, okay? Because uh, you stop here. Let it go all the way so the rope goes here. Oh, so I have to be back this far in order for it to go. Yeah, instead of bringing this down here, yeah. keep, the, keep the hands uh, above your shoulder. Make the back swing faster. And the on the way down, also, uh, the, uh, on the way back, in the back swing, you swing, and on the back swing, use the same swing plane here. Swing, bring it back, swing, bring it back, swing, and bring it back. The same motion. Your body motion is too much. And the whole goal is uh, to uh, nicely move the rope. Pay attention to the motion of the rope. No, still the plane is not consistent. Now it's getting better. Give more faster back swing. Uh, here, when I say faster backswing, it means the motion of the rope. It doesn't mean uh, rush the downswing. Faster motion, but you have to let it wrap around your body. Mm. Again, it's coming down. Come down and try to push it this way. Come down and push this way. Instead, bring it up, let it go. Bring it up, let it go. You have to image the motion and then stick to that. The, no, the last motion at the, at the end of the back swing, okay, you go here and then the last one is going flat like this. Yeah. This is causing trouble. Just keep moving like this, okay? Make it consistent. Mm -hmm. Instead of at the end, try to go this way. Again, pay attention to the rope motion. You have to adjust your body motion
Okay, let's make the plane a bit flatter. The, the whole thing flatter. Yeah, so on the way down also, it should be a bit flatter. So let the rope go around your body more. In other words, reach out a bit more. You have a, it's just excessive motion. Yeah. Just let it go, throw, let it go, throw. This, your motion is about the spine axis here. Just to turn the body, turn the body. Fold your arms. So here, keep it relaxed here. Shift the first net, turn, shift, turn. Shift, turn, shift, turn. No, 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 no. You're shifting and turning at the same time. So from here, shift first and then turn. Shift. Once you shift and then turn around the left, left hip, shift to the right and then turn around the right hip. Shift left and then turn. Shift to right and turn. Mm -hmm. Swing. Swing. You have to have a good cool shift like that. Okay? It's so always a shift first. So add the shift motion and then try to swing. When your leg actions are proper, then you will have a reasonable shift. The swing becomes easy. No, 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 it's coming down this way here. Because you come down this way, you keep it long. Try to, try to move the elbow in front of your body here, instead of coming down like this. Okay. It's a stuck here. Yeah. So make sure your right elbow, it's from here, stay here, just to come down Keep the hands close to your body and go this way. Then the right elbow will clear your trunk. Turn around. This way more. And go, bring the hands a bit higher in the back swing. And then turn this way, turn this way. So the main problem is you go here and then try to go this way here. That's why you are sliding the this pelvis quite stuck. a bit. Yeah. So the right elbow has to clear your body, You're going in front of your body. Oh, that's too much reaching out. Clear and the turn this way. Here. So go reasonably high up here, from here, just to come down straight instead of or keeping this low here and try to come down this way. Mm -hmm. From here, just to keep using the expressway and then let it go. Yes. So you have to fight the urge of bringing this back like this. Mm. Then you'll start this way here. That's why you have to image. Yeah, I'm trying to see that in my mind of what it would look like. Image the movement. You will clear, your right elbow will clear, clear the body and then keep the hands a bit close to your body and turn this way more. Okay, again. So that's why I'm asking you to swing the rope toward me, but you have to adjust the back swing. Turn the body, no, 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 you are sliding. Turn the body this way more. This way more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, the rope, the back swing. The, the back swing, the rope has to go all the way in here.
to see what happens to the rope motion at the end of the vacuum. It slows down here quite mm. a bit, just the drops here. Let it go all the way so it comes in here. This rope swing is not that difficult. You are putting yeah. a lot of effort. Yeah. Again, if you just uh, have a rope-centric perspective, let the rope move yeah. and minimize your body motion. Okay? This is not supposed to be a, a hard, uh, hard work here. It's a, it's a simple, repeated motion. Okay? Let the clip, uh, let the rope end go, go in here. Use the use the momentum of the rope. Now pay attention to the direction of the, yes, that's better. Pay attention to the direction of the rope motion. No, 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 still you're going down here. As, as you repeat this, you go down. You have to fight that. Unless you change that aspect, then you'll repeat the same thing again and again. Feel the motion of the rope. Still is a too much arm driven. Use the body motion. Shift the body, shift the body laterally. Uh, the arm, the right hand is coming down. You're pushing out, pushing out. The swing plane is uh, currently too steep. Let's uh, flatten it a little bit. The backswing motion, the, the backswing motion is also a continuation of your downswing. Everything is connected. Everything is connected. So. By having con continuous motion, you will be able to guide the rope along the same plane here. The your backswing, your backswing is going flat here, but everything is connected. It's a one continuous rhythmic motion. Feel the motion of the rope. Mm -hmm. The rope motion is now a lot better. So. Uh, Cut off all the unnecessary body motion. The, but the swing plane is a bit too steep. Make it a bit flatter. Yeah. So let's send back a bit more yeah, there. So instead of aiming here, try to aim this way here. So the rope will come in about here. Make it overall, the, make the plane flatter. Uh, so you are going outward while making the swing plane flatter. Swing it toward me, swing it toward me. No, still the right arm is coming under here. You are coming under here. That's why you cannot turn this way. You have to stay here, come in front of your body, and bring this way here. Your elbow should not come down more than a certain position here. Okay? It just comes down here in front of your body and then let it go. Instead of go this way here. And then no need to slide the pelvis that much. Okay. If you slide the pelvis naturally, the right side will drop. So these are connected. Just to try to turn. Just to try to turn around this way instead of going this way here. Instead of going this way, just to try to turn around more. Like this. About the axis, yes. Uh, it's all arms. You have to turn the body as well.
bring the hands higher on the back swing and then go lower in the down swing. Shift the, the body literally more. It's all arm swing. Shift more. No, the rope just drops here. It has to, the rope just drops here. Yeah. It has to go in. So you have to flex your elbows slightly at the end so that the rope can go in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Still the elbow is uh, down here. No, no, just uh, turn the body more this way. Turn the body, bring the hands close to your body. Okay, let's, let's do this. Try to bring the hands really high here in the back swing and then go flat this way. Just a second, just a second, second. At the at the at impact, show me uh, your hand position at impact. At impact, no, no, just the stay at impact position. This is the problem here. It has to be this way, here, so that it can come in this way. You are going into an impact position like this. That means that this side should be low, and then going this way here. Instead, turn this way. Here. You should be able to turn it this way. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So imagine this. If your wrist comes down and then try turn this way, this does not help lowering this side. Yeah. Only when your hand goes this way here, then this makes sense. And then throw up here, right? But if your hands turn this way here, let it go this way, then it has to stay more up here and then coming down and turn around. Try to turn, use the pronation of the right arm and then supination of the left arm like this. On the way down and then turn this way here. Turn, uh, turn this way more, turn this way more. Yes. Turn the, turn the wrist. Mm -hmm. No, once it goes out and then try to turn later, it's uh, too late. Gotcha. You have to adjust the, this backswing pad and then come down and then turn this way instead of go here, go out and then try to turn here. You have to change the backswing. So remember, you never go to the impact position like this with the right palm upward here. Rather, come down here and then turn this way. Impact and then turn this way. Mm -hmm. So in order to make this turn here, you have to go higher, a bit higher here, and then come down and then turn this way. But if you keep this position here, Always try to come down this way and then try to throw this way. Okay. Okay. So your image of impact position is not this one. Again, your image of impact position is not this, but rather this one here. Like this. And then turning this way here. Mm -hmm. Turn the wrist. Turn, oh, it's outward. No, it is a failure. You have to give enough speed and then make it, make it go around your body and end up here. Yeah, okay. Right? You have to give enough speed to the rope so that the speed of the rope will bring the rope all the way here. Yeah. You have to go to this part here, not dropping here. 
So the end of the rope should be uh, alive. Yeah, it, it keeps it's moving it's around your body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also at the top, at the top here, if your hand position is goes this way, go up and if your hand, so this orientation, then the elbow will go backward here. It has to be uh, like this yeah. at the top. So right now, the, because the rope is uh, flexible, so the rope will go this way anyways. But when you use the, uh, the club, if you go to this position, then you'll always have a crossover posture here. So go up, and then in order to maintain the rope in proper position, your hand has to, so here, at the top here, your hand basically uh, is aligned toward the target here, okay? Instead of going like this. Mm. It has to be aligned this way here. Ah, you're lifting the, if then always the, the hand goes this way instead of this. So here, look at this. If you, your thumb is going this way here, okay, backward, turn 90 degrees, then thumb will go that way. No, no, your, your, thumb, your thumb has to be aligned this way here yeah. at the top, not this way. Yeah. As it uh, aligns this way, then this has to uh, be lifted here. You have to go this way. So again, if the thumb is facing, uh, the pointing backward, 90 degree turn, you will be, the thumb will go toward the target. Like this. Yeah, but if the thumb is uh, more going this way and then turn 90 degrees, you see it's going that way, it's a crossover. So. More than anything, you should not lift the elbow this way here. You can lift the elbow this way with a turn this way here. But if the elbow goes like this, then the thumb goes that way. And then here, naturally what happens is coming down this way. Then try to swing. Okay. That's why you have stuck elbow problem. But so that's why uh, by using the swing plane, you try to adjust all these things. Mm -hmm. But if you don't adjust these, it's not going to change. It's not going to happen. Yeah. By, by guiding the rope along the, swing, uh, the, along the target here, in, by uh, generating this kind of uh, swing plane, you, we have to uh, go to this position here. Even when you, when you hold the, the rope, instead of holding the rope like this, try to hold the rope like this. Like the club. Mm. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay. instead of uh, Got it. going this. And also, the effort is the main effort not in the downswing. You have to have a good wind-up. Downswing, if you have a good wind-up, downswing will be automatically active. Ah, again. That's the part you have to change. Yeah. And, and then... Imagine this. So if your backswing is going more flat this way, backward here, so you have to change this, right? There are different ways, but uh, basically, the reason why this is going flat here is because you are leaning this way here. Already the trunk position promotes this motion here. 
then in order to change this path, you have to change the way you are moving the, turning the trunk here. Yeah. So just the turning the trunk about the spine axis, you will go to this position. But if the axis goes this way, you go flat. So this is separation of the upper and the lower body. No. The way you move your, your spine, you have to, again, so here, turn the shoulder this way here. This is your spine axis, and then turn the body this way, instead of Yeah, so the left side is go low, low and then in this way here. Then automatically you will go to this position here, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of this mm -hmm. You have to adjust the, the way you move your body. This is, a, it, this is a, like a swamp. Yeah. This pattern is a swamp. You cannot easily uh, get out of it once you are in. And uh, you developed this pattern. Uh, Over time. Yeah. So uh, it's hard to uh, get away from it. Okay. So let's go to the orange whip swing here. But the bottom line is uh, the reason why you cannot change things is because you are not paying attention to your body motion. You are the only one who can make the changes. Yeah. That means that you have to know what your body is doing. That's right. Whether you're going this way here, for I try to lift the, this here, or going more this way, keeping the arms in front of the chest here, and then swing versus swing back and forth. Hold the, the, in the middle of the grip. No, no need to swing hard on the way down. Just try to make a continuous motion back and forth. Ah, this is all arm-driven swing here. The arm muscles are a lot smaller than these muscles yeah. here. You have to use big muscles. Again, you go backward here and then stop here. Let it go in the backswing. Go ahead. Here. Let it go all the way here. If you go to a this position, it'll be easier. Okay. Okay? But if you go here, then this uh, cross, crosses over here. So try to keep the arms in front of your chest here. And then let it go all the way here so you can see the head here. So if you draw line from the right shoulder to a left armpit here, this is going down this way here. Okay? And then you should not lift this. We'll go this way here okay. instead of uh, lifting like this. No baseball uh, bedding posture. And also, here, on the way back, you are lowering your body like this. Instead, shift, and then you have to actually push the ground with the right leg. So here, you shift first, and then push the ground with the right leg. Then you will be able to stand, stand on the right side here. Stand tall. Okay, stand tall on the right side. So you should not go down like this, and then in, on the way down, try to uh, stand up. Mm -hmm. you know, instead of lifting it up, let it go here. So make it a bit flatter. Flare, flare. Ah, no. Okay. 
it's give even worse. Here. Earlier at the beginning, I told you that uh, you go down here and then on the way down, try to stand up and try to lift this arm up here. Instead of go high here, go flat. Go high and flat here. Keep the hands closer. Then let it go by turning your body and then let it go here. Instead of So again, here, on the way back, go back, go higher here. And on the way down, bring it here. And then again, this is the impact position. I go this way here. You have to go quite flat here instead of try to lift this up here. Even, even flatter. In order to go flatter, you have to go higher here, go higher here, and then go flatter, okay? Mm -hmm. So currently, is this side really low and then you're going really high here. And then adjust to this and then come up with a more symmetric motion. Whoa, 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 whoa. At, at the end of the downswing, when you start the backswing, still it should be the same plane. Swing here, and then try to bring the club, the whip back along the same plane. The plane changes quite a bit. To relax your wrist, relax your wrist so that you can feel the motion of the whip. Do not force the whip. Here, here, here. You're putting more than uh, necessary uh, effort here. If you relax and feel the motion of the whip, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. This is what you need to feel instead of. Relax your wrist a little bit. Feel the motion of the whip. If you look at the end of the end of the back swing, so, so when you start the when you start the back end of down swing, when you start the back swing, the club is aligned this way here. Then you have to bring the club along the swing plane. But what happens is. So this, this is backswing is going this way here. But at the end of the backswing, the club goes this way here. And then when you start the downswing, this is low here. You're starting, the hand is low. Back here. That's why the hand has to go out that way. 
And then, so this is the end of, this is the, end of the downswing. Mm -hmm. Then you can come back along this plane, but look at this. You are dropping this side, so now the curve head is going this way. It's coming down this way instead of coming along the swing. Let's use the club. <coughs> okay, again, swing back and forth. Swing back and forth. And then, uh, no need to swing hard, but you have to find a good swing plane. And so when, when it, I'm coming through here, it should go. Already, same no, already you're going that uh, flat there. You, you, you have to know okay, where you are going. As you practice this, already you are going flat here. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, making a, a plane trainer right now. So once it's done, then it'll be easier to show this. But uh, you are going flat here. Then already from the beginning, it's hard to uh, turn any, yeah. everything this way. Your hands has to travel a bit higher here. Go here and then come down this way instead of go flat here. You have to adjust the hand motion. Then uh, it will change the club head motion. But now, you don't have to swing hard, but swing toward me. I'm uh, on the left side of the target. Swing toward me. Relax your wrist. Feel the motion of the club head. Increase the back swing. Increase the back swing. No, no, this way, this way. Your, your hand is going up here. Hand has to go this way here. Okay? So let's do this. Let's do this. Initially, throw the club toward the target that you are swinging, and then bring it back and then swing toward that direction. This is state three. Okay. This is state three of uh, the two-step swing. But by initially using the trigger motion, you are guiding, you are prepping, you will, you will uh, guide the club toward the, the direction you are going to swing. So it's uh, th here. Okay. okay. And then bring it back. And then later in the downswing, again, swing along that plane. Ah! At the end, you are going up. Feel the motion of the club head here. You are here. Okay. The club head is uh, the key, but your hand is going up like this, bringing everything up. So let it go. Let it go here. Start to bring it back here, and then make sure you swing along that plane again. Now the, the target is where I am. You have to swing the club toward me. No, no need to do this. Here. Just to turn this. Yep. Here. You have two things interfering with this. One, on the, way, on the way back, you're lowering your body. It, it makes it lower, and then the, the hands are going backward here. Yeah, imagine this. If you want to throw the hands this way, point this way, then the hand has to go more this way here instead of here. Here, and then throw it again this way. You have to adjust the, the hand motion path. Ah, uh, no, 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 already you are going down in the backswing. Let's, let's exaggerate this. Go really high in the backswing. Yeah, and then go flat in the downswing. Relax your wrist. Keep the hands closer to your body all the way down. Again. 
Let the wrist go. Let the wrist go. Relax, relax. Again, make the back swing faster. So use the trigger. You have to feel the motion of the club head. Okay? In order to do that, you have to relax it reasonably. If you hold it like this, here. so try to let the club head go. Okay? Don't try to manipulate it with your wrist. Let it go. Again, but make, a, make the back swing bigger. Your head just has to go higher. Again. Turn the direction this way. Ah, 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 this went down. Again, it went uh, outward. No, it's going outward. Swinging hard is not important. You have to guide the club correctly here. So if your goal, if your goal is to bring the club here toward the left side here, point that direction. On the way back, you have to guide the club a bit higher here so that you can easily turn leftward. And also, you have to let the wrist go at the end. This is the wrist motion, not this motion here. You have, to, you have to use this motion here. And also, up here, if you use this wrist motion, you can drop it this way. Yeah. If on the way here, you use this wrist motion, you can easily drop it this way here, not this way. Your arm does not have to go outward if you use the wrist motion. Relax your wrist. Feel the motion of the club head. You have to guide it correctly. In your case, you are on the way down. This is always coming down, right? So when you do trigger, do the trigger. Do the trigger instead of going this way. You are already in that position. You have to go this way here. You have to prep everything from the beginning. But if your trigger goes this way, then you want to go this way. Yeah. So naturally, go flat here and then try to swing this way. Here. So it should be like. If you are here. Yeah. Just to go go like this. Okay. From here, as you bring this. Back here, you'll go to this position here. Okay. Try to drop this behind your back here. It's going that way. Instead of going this way, by using the wrist, drop it this way. You have to feel the continuous motion of the club, but the bottom line is you have to deliver the club this way. Using the trigger, you are guiding the club to the right direction. But here, and then you still go flat here. Make, make the motion really fast. Fast, fast backward, and the fast. Again. Let's do a stage three, stage three. Trigger, bring it back, and swing.
Okay, stage three. Ready, go. go. Still, you'll see the vaccine path is still low. It's not changing. You see? It's going back here. So all the way down, the curve goes outward. So it has to be. So it has to be, the hands should be in front of your chest. It's more should be in front of your chest here. Okay? And then coming down and then turn around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, more that way and turn around. Still outward. Still outward. Here, this way. I'm here on the left side of the target. You have to throw the club to me. No. Go flatter on this side. You have to turn this way a lot more. Nope. Rick, Rick, you always start uh, low there. Yeah. Go, go here, and then instead of dropping here, just to turn around and let it go instead of dropping here. Mm. Mm-hmm. You use the trigger. The main purpose of this trigger is to have good active backswing. Using the trigger and then from there have active backswing. Outward. Go even flatter, go even flatter uh, in the trigger. Mm. Uh, your stance changed. Still, uh, your stance should be uh, toward target. Still outward. Outward. Uh, the backswing is short this time, brushed. Give enough time, give a big backswing. Go all the way, let the club head go. All the way. Do not try to uh, stop it with your arms. Uh, way outward, way outward. What do you mean by outward? Like, coming like this? Mm -hmm. Because your impact posture here, try to turn the wrist. Back swing is a short. Feel the motion of the club head, use the momentum of the club head, let it go all the way. Here, on the way back, because you are starting flat on the way back, starting flat, the club goes this way here. Okay? When you start the flat, the club goes this way. If you let, let it go more laterally that way, it will go here. Instead of. So when in the backswing, when you start the first backswing motion, try to bring the club head more laterally, not backward here. Okay. From the trigger, from the trigger, using this motion, 
you can have faster motion. Then let it go instead of trying to bring it in. Use the momentum of the club. You have to bring the club more laterally. It's way outward. Way outward. Still, backswing is a flat. Your hands, your goal in the backswing is to move the hands toward that way, not this way here. Move the hands toward that way. Move the hands that way. Yeah. So from here, from here, bring the hands more that way. Backswing is short. In the backswing, you are not paying attention to what you're doing. You yeah. keep doing the same thing. The key is uh, how you do the backswing, and the, we are using the we are using the trigger to guide the backswing. So can can we do it slow? So I just make sure I have my hands. So it's here. Mm. Back here. Drop this here. If the this thing goes this way here. Yeah. So imagine, imagine um Try to do the backswing without touching this. <clears throat> so go slow. <clears throat> so use the use the trigger motion from the trigger, and then come come back. And then you have to give uh, the wrist motion at the end. No, no, no! It's too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep. Keep up, going up, and then uh, the wrist motion at the end. At the end. Yeah. Oh. Coming down. You're going to break your, your club. Oh, it's too much outward. But here, so. The feel you need to have is relax your arms. You have just, just too much arm driven. Relax your arms. And then just to turn the body and then bring this up. Your arms are really relaxed here. By using the body turn, you are bringing the club here. This way you will be able to feel the motion of the club head and then guide the club head properly. But if you are swing like this, it's hard to feel the motion of the clip head. Yeah. It's a simple turn about the axis here. Let it go, let it go, relax, and then let it go, let it feel the motion of the clip head. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's do this. Hold the club with the three fingers each. Okay, so release the ring finger and the pinky. Or only use the three fingers each. Okay. Then you will not be able to force the motion of the club. Feel, feel the motion of the club.
you cannot force the motion of the clerk. No, this is left-handed. It's a left-handed grip. Just use the uh, first the three fingers. Release the ring finger and the pinky. Just hold these. Okay. The whole purpose is not to force the uh, club motion. If you just feel the motion of the club, then it has a tendency of planar motion. So it will give you a nice planar motion. Do not force the motion of the club by using your hands. Okay, so six fingers. Swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, still, still on the way back, you, you try to, uh, did you anchor it to the palm? Just use the fingers. So you don't force the motion of the club with your hands. Relax. OK, let's do this. You can hold it with your regular uh, grip, but completely relax your wrist. Do not force the motion of the club with your hands and wrist here. Completely relax here. Completely relax. Then you will be able to feel the motion of the club head. Completely relax the, the wrist. Mm, still in the, in the backswing, you're holding it. Let it go all the way, let it go all the way. So the club head, the, the, the yeah, shaft can hit your left shoulder. On the way down, use the same plane. On the way down, use the same plane. What happens is uh, you go up here and then coming down, steeper plane here. If this is a swing plane, and make sure you bring it back along the same plane here. Use the same plane. So the hands has to be here instead of going this way or this way here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. With this, you have a consistent plane back and forth. While relaxing your wrist. Now, this is how you train your body. You have to pay attention to the color of motion. Relax your wrist. Ah, the wrist is too tight. From the way you are holding the grip, you are quite a right arm, right hand dominant here. Mm -hmm. Go here, as if you're, you're shaking hand with somebody here, so that you can easily use the wrist. Currently, this is weak, and your right arm is a lot stronger, so that's why it's holding here. Okay. Relax, particularly relax your right, right wrist. Ah, uh, stopped. You stopped here. Let it go all the way. Feel the motion. Let it go all the way. On the way down, use the same plane. On the way down, use the same. Oh, no. Here. So your downswing went this way here, right? Then you are starting backswing like this. The plane is here. Go here, and then you are coming down this way. Instead, go here. Make sure you follow the same plane on the way back. Again. 
if you start with the wrong plane, it's hard to uh, have consistent plane here. Move the club along the same plane, both ways. Let me record this. Ready, go again, swing back and forth. Look at this. Forward. Let's take a look at. So, this is the backswing position, and on the way down, you see your hands. Your hands are low here, coming down low. So in the backswing, the hands are about here. On the way down, your hands are coming down more. You're always starting. Yeah, I feel it. And also, it, so in the downswing, the, this is the plane. Okay. After you finish, on the way down, you see the club is moving this way here, and coming, or coming, it's uh, following a lot uh, steeper. So from here, then you have to come back along this plane. From here, come back along the same plane, but the club is going up here. Hands are here, the club is high up here. Coming back. Now again, you can see, this is the downswing plane here. Mm -hmm. Finished, the club is going up. Instead, go here. So when you swing this way, and then make sure you bring along the same plane here. So at the beginning of the backswing, you have to pay attention to that aspect. And also, when you start the back swing, it's not arm motion only. Swing, your body turned here, right? Yeah. With that, the body turns, body turns, and then bring it back. Instead of, it's all body driven motion. Yeah, it's way outward, way outward. Uh, you, you are cutting the backswing short. You are not feeling the. You are not feeling the motion of the club head. Let it go all the way using the momentum. So here, if you have enough momentum during the backswing, this momentum will bring the club head all the way to this position here. If you continue this motion, so go back and forth here. And when you continue this motion, the club will go here. Instead, you're going this. You're lowering the body in the backswing. You have to actually push the ground well with the right leg and let it go all the way here. Instead of. So feel the motion. Bring it back all the way here. Do not fight, just let it go. Let it continue the motion to this position. It's not your arm or body driven motion, but rather it has to be uh, the club head centric. Okay, um, let's do this. So let's do a stage three. Stage three. Um, what time do you have to leave? 
Okay, so uh, it's already 10, 15. Uh, let's have uh, 30 more minutes, okay? Let's do stage three now. So throw the club actively this way, and then bring it back really fast. And using that motion, let the club head go all the way, and then swing. Stage three. The club went this way, it's way, way crossover. No, you're turning this way. The backswing, the hand is, go fl hand is going flat. Right, stop, stop there, stop there. You're doing the backswing, your hand is going this way. Instead, try to bring this way. I told you that the move the yeah. hands toward laterally. Yeah. And try to bring the club this way here. This is okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you're going flat and then you're yeah, yeah. going this way. Drop this behind your back here. Again, stage three. It's outward. Uh, let's do this. So try to make everything flat. So try to swing around here, not going down here. A swing, a swing about here. Okay. Actually, that that will uh, help a, a lot of times. So, uh, good trigger, and then active backswing. And then, in doing that, in doing that, if you feel the swing plane is inclined this way, you're dropping here. Yeah. So just just to, just, just to go here, and then just to try to turn around. Still, it's uh, inclined. Okay, so let's say this is okay. Let's say you you're flat here. This is okay, but then the hands should be also here instead of lifting it up. It's okay to have a flat position, that's okay. But as you go this much here, mm -hmm. go as much as possible, and then as, as you turn here, turning and then keep this low here so that it can go this way instead of lifting this up here. Let it go flat here. If you started flat here, then also end up flat. Again. Ah, the, because uh, this your flat, the back swing is short. Let it, let the head go more. Lifting, you are lifting. Keep it almost symmetric. Keep it almost symmetric. So yeah, you have to keep. Now the trigger went this way, right? Then on downswing should be also follow that plane. You are telling your body, telling yourself, okay, this is the direction I'm going to swing by using the trigger. Mm. And then try to swing along that plane. Stage three, stage three, step by step. Uh, you're lifting. Let the wrist go a bit more. If your arm cannot go any further, uh, you lift it. Yeah, again, it's okay to, to have a flat motion in the back swing, but then at least try to have a leveled swing here instead of lifting it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, give me a level swing. Uh, you, so you start lifting.
So you have to bring the hands more this way. Yeah. Again. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's lower this a little bit. So halfway between this, you were doing this, and then this is the, the ultimate goal, but about halfway here. But the same idea, level the, uh, the swing plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, stage three, stage three, step by step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make the back swing bigger. Uh, lift it. Uh, lift it. Drop the clip uh, more behind your body, not along the shoulder line. No, I said drop the clip head, not the hand. Mm hmm. Again. Now drop all the way down to where the ball is. Yes. Still you're lifting a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, let me record this from here. Okay. Stage three. Ready, go. Look at this. Still, it's a fairly flat, but on the way down, the swing plane is uh, not lifting, lifting up that much. So, so all you need to do is uh, maintain this, and then all you need to do is uh, have a good trigger. Using the trigger motion, <coughs> actively bring it back, and <coughs> swing. But instead of dropping this and then lifting on this side, yeah. try to keep it uh, leveled. Same stage through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then make the backswing bigger and they have more time there. No rush down. And uh, is it lifting? Mm hmm. So still, uh, it's a, your swing is very limited by uh, what you do in the back swing. However, at least we have a better uh, balance here. So you are not lifting up that much. Okay, stage three again. Ready, uh, just a sec. Ready, go. Ooh. 
the back swing. Uh, the back swing is not that large. Again, give me a lot bigger back swing. So I have add additional shoulder turn or body turn, but keep a bigger back swing. Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. And see how flat your back swing is from this side. Your back swing is really flat. But um, at least we have a better balance. I see. Okay? So when, when you start lifting, it, it causes a lot of trouble. But um, at least we have a better balance now.